What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. So I'm Oz, okay? And I know I have been introducing myself as Kenny for the lifetime of this channel, more or less. But <clears throat> the vast majority of my friends call me Oz. And there are reasons for that uh, that I'm not necessarily going to go into. Uh, but that is the basis of the name of the channel and will be the basis of the merchandise and all that stuff is this whole Oz, Wizard of Oz, Yellow Brick Road, Emerald City type of theme, okay? Uh, so, just get ready because I will very soon start, if not right now, start referring to myself as Oz rather than Kenny, okay? The, the impetus for me uh, referring to myself as Kenny, which is the name on my birth certificate, uh, is the fact that I run another YouTube channel that's rather large and that I've been running for many years. And I wanted to differentiate this channel from that channel. That other channel is based on stuff having to do with spirituality and stuff. That's not necessarily the content that I want to share here. And I didn't really want to mix the two communities. And so, uh, but I, I'm now rethinking that because I've based the whole theme of this channel around Oz, the Wizard of Oz type of thing. So uh, I just wanted to say that uh, up front here in the video. So guys, here's my clickbait title. Uh, I, the last week has sucked, okay? Really the last two weeks has just sucked, all right? After my birthday party, I came down with a cold and it wasn't so bad that it stopped me from getting stuff done on the van, although it did slow me down. But this last week after I came back out on the road, it worsened and I've been like up all night coughing and living my life, tripping on Robitussin and Dayquil and so it sucked, okay? And uh, this place that I'm at here in West Chicago, this cheese merchant's place, put my load off for a day so I was able to take a day yesterday and just rest and sleep as long as I wanted to last night I didn't take any medicine this morning and I'm feeling a little bit better so I'm hoping I'm on the tail end of it but uh, that's my clickbait title uh, is it sucked okay so if you're new to the channel welcome to the yellow brick road for now uh, and I hope you'll subscribe uh, I'm a truck driver who I'm almost finished with my van build and I'm on my very last trip out right now in the big truck and in about four weeks I'm going to quit my job and go full-time van life and I hope that you guys will come along for the journey. There's going to be some changes here on the channel. There's going to be some changes with the way the content's presented and hopefully it'll be something that everybody, subscribers old and new, will enjoy. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, the name of the channel is likely about to change. And the artist that is going to be working for the channel, she's, she's not very happy about it. And I apologize, Sarah, if you're watching. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, uh, my research suggests that the reason, and so here's the thing that's happened, is that the Yellow Brick Road, if you type that into the search bar on YouTube, the channel does not come up and I've not and I've been wondering why so I did a bunch of research and it turns out that the reason is probably because it's a very common term it's used in the title of a bunch of videos and stuff and so YouTube somehow won't latch on to it because of that so I think that I'm going to be changing the name of the channel soon to Emerald City Van Life I think the, the my research suggests that that's going to be a much better name that the, the YouTube algorithm should pick up. And I think I may also get some other benefits uh, that uh, from changing the name to that. And it still maintains this theme. And I like this theme a lot. This Wizard of Oz, Yellow Brick Road. You know, it's like following the Yellow Brick Road to happiness and retirement to the Emerald City, you know, and it sticks with this Oz, Wizard of Oz type of theme, which I like a lot, so be prepared for that, I know it doesn't really matter to you guys, I'm sure, but uh, that's probably coming, okay, uh, again, hit that subscribe button if you're new, guys, I don't remember if I said that already, I've tried to make this video a few times, uh, so, you know, there's a lot of things that I've been thinking about as I'm coming out on this last 
this last truck driver stint before I'd start full-time van life. And, you know, uh, there are going to be some shifts, like not just in the channel, but in my lifestyle. Uh, because although I've been living in a vehicle for five years, you know, I've been living in this truck for the last five years. Uh, and so there are a lot of things that are going to be the same, but a lot of things also like the way I eat and the way I live are going to pretty drastically change. And, you know, I've started to come to that realization more and more because, you know, the fact of the matter is I live in this big ass 18 wheeler and I can't just pop into the grocery store or pop into pretty much anywhere. And so like the way I eat, the way I live are going to pretty drastically change and I'm really looking forward to the freedom guys of being able to pop into a store or you know because uh, out here on this road they they know that we're relegated to stopping in the truck stops and so everything's more expensive they just rape you on the prices and uh, so I'm looking forward to it but it means that you know I'm having to rethink things and I hope I haven't made mistakes with some of the things that I purchased for the van. We're, we're going to find out soon enough. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's also like, and I've talked about this before, the fact that I'm going to be in the city a lot, okay? Uh, because I, I've got a lot of responsibilities there at home that I have been just pretty much taking care of online for the last five years. And I'm looking forward to being able to spend time in person with the fraternal organization that I belong to and those uh, friends. And also my mom had an accident a year or so ago and uh, I'm looking forward to being able to spend a little more time with my parents. They're getting older uh, and also see my child a lot more. Uh, so this first trip out in particular, I'm going to be heavily focused in on being in the city. And so this is going to be a uh, representation of city van life. Now, that doesn't mean I won't take a few trips here or there. And, uh, you know, moving forward, I do want to do at least some of the, the more camping-oriented uh, national forest BLM land type stuff. But in the, in the beginning, that's not what it's going to look like. So Emerald City Van Life sticks with the same theme of yellow brick road wizard of oz and you know i like this not only because i'm oz but also because it's a depiction of you know my journey on the yellow brick road toward freedom and toward uh you know finding a better way and it also leaves leaves a lot of room for like uh creativity when it comes to merchandise and things like that you know wizard of oz like yellow brick road emerald city type theme uh stickers and t-shirts and stuff like that that i like a lot and that leads me to you know i would like for this van life thing to become more permanent as it stands right now what it's going to look like is me going home for six to eight months living on savings and then i'll have to come back to this truck and save again and I would like to at least begin to f try to figure out a way to either extend or make permanent uh, my transition into the van. And so I've been doing a lot of thinking about how I can make that happen. And look, this is not pressure for any of you guys. If, if you don't, you know, end up supporting the channel, I'm not going to look any differently at you, you know what I mean? But I do need to figure out ways to try to monetize this to a little bit greater degree. Uh, and I've, so I've been looking at options for that. So currently there are two main ways other than merchandise, which there will be merchandise. I have an artist friend named Sarah, who's a fantastic artist, who's gonna help me with uh, some designs and stuff. But Patreon and YouTube memberships are the two main ways that, uh, creators get people to support their channels and I've seen a lot more YouTubers recently move to uh, YouTube memberships over Patreon and I've been looking at the differences and it seems like YouTube membership takes a larger cut but I think there may be some benefit to the fact that it's all right here in this same app uh, even though there are some limitations so I wonder if you guys have stuck around this long uh, do you think that 
uh, like if you were going to support the channel, would you be more likely to move off platform to Patreon or something like that? Or would it be uh, just more convenient and you'd be more likely to do it if it was actually through YouTube? Or does it even matter to you? You know, I'd like to, to hear you guys' thoughts about that. Uh, I'm also looking at paying a year up front for an Epidemic Sound membership so that I have access to copyright-free music. Uh, there's some other things, you know, I'm not going to go to the extent of buying a drone and all that kind of stuff at this point, but I'm definitely putting thought into uh, some type of memberships, uh, merchandise, uh, stepping up the video production. I'm definitely going to be releasing videos more often. I've got a lot of uh, thoughts to do some talking head type content that's going to be coming as I move back toward uh, this next month. But after that, we're going to start really thinking about what the content looks like and try to provide more value because I realize if I'm not providing value to, to you guys, there's no reason for you to support the channel. So uh, hopefully I can do that. And I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on, you know, what would make you more likely to support the channel and help me become a full-time van lifer in earnest, you know? I mean, I could try to take some local job or something, but, like, the truth of the matter is that in this job, in this truck, I'm able to save, you know, $1,000 a week, three weeks out of the month. So I can save a significant amount of money very quickly, whereas if I tried to, like... I don't know, work at a McDonald's or some BS job, you know, I'm going to be putting back two or three hundred dollars a week and, and it's just going to evolve into this never ending working again, which is what I'm trying to, to get away with. I'm not scared of working, but I'm getting older guys. And, and this whole like idea of retirement and stuff that they've duped people into is it's a scam, all right? I, they, they want us to work 50, 60 years of our lives for some imaginary retirement, and we'll probably all die before we get there or very shortly thereafter. And it's, you know, that's the that's the scam, and I'm trying to get away from it, okay? I've, I've gotten away from it in small ways for most of my life, and I'm looking toward this last 15, 20 years of my life and trying to figure out how I can get as much joy and fun out of it as I can. And, and this is my idea. So I hope you guys will stick around for the journey. And when the time comes, I hope that you'll support the channel in some small way. Uh, I hope that I'm able to provide the value that makes that worth it for you. Um, and uh, subscribe, guys. Support the channel. And help me make this happen. Love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.